birds flying high you know how i feel sun in the sky you know how i feel breeze drifting on by the GB Group Global Leadership Awards Dinner is honoring women who influence government policy through political participation, economic development, strategic business, and corporate leadership. CEO of GB Group Global, Dr. Gloria B. Herndon. GB Group Global is a conglomerate of several companies, GB Energy, GB Pharma, GB Oncology and Imaging, which is our give back company, as well as the former company also has some branches, like our we manufacture cosmetics. The award ceremony highlights some unsung heroines, celebrates those that are known, and provides perspective on how our past influences our present and shapes our future. First honoree tonight is Mama Sarah Obama, champion for orphans and poverty-stricken families in sub-Saharan Africa, and the founder of the Mama Sarah Obama Foundation in Kenya. She also happens to be the grandmother of our president, Barack Obama. Our next honoree is Ambassador Dr. Robin Renee Sanders. She served as the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria and ECOWAS and the Republic of Congo. If you make passion uh, your primary goal and what you do every day, then it never feels like work. Next honoree tonight is Ms. Colleen Daniel, Deputy Chief of the Tertiary Hospital Group and CEO of Hamad General Hospital in Doha, Qatar. Women, we are parents, we are aunts, we become grandmothers, but we are also the foundation of corporations, we are the foundations of political governments, and we are the foundations of entrepreneurship. Forbes magazine dubbed our next honoree Africa's first woman billionaire and the most powerful and richest woman in Angola. Isabel Dos Santos is the daughter of Angola's president and despite her privileged upbringing, she has become a force in her own right in the business world. We are delighted that the ambassador of Angola Dr. Agostino Taveras da Silva Nieto will be accepting the award on behalf of Ms. Isabel Dos Santos. Now, my dear friend, Dr. Joyce Banda, president of Malawi. 17 years ago, when I received the Africa Prize for Leadership for the Sustainable Innovanga, I established what I call the Joyce Banda Foundation uh, with the $50,000 that I received. That organization has grown in Malawi to reach out to 1.3 million Malawians. And it is about a holistic approach, integrated approach, that looks at income for the poor household, so that the girls in that household can go to school, so that they don't give birth early and they don't get married as teenagers, so that they don't die giving birth, they don't die of HIV AIDS. And the fourth pillar is to develop leadership among women. Ambassador, Her Excellency, Amina Salem Ali, the permanent resident of the African Union to the U.S. We just had our summit three weeks ago, and what of the, one of the decisions that was taken to allow 2015 the year for empowerment of women, political empowerment, economic empowerment. At the same time, it was the year that we put a new blueprint for African revival, economic revival, and uh, uh, development. So these two things came at a time where we are moving toward our agenda 2063, 50 years ahead. Our next honoree, Ms. Fumbi Chima, Chief Information Officer of Walmart Asia. Uh, my overall responsibility really is technology across the whole Asia region for both our retail practice and also our global sourcing. So it's looking at it from everything that you do when you go into the stores to checking out to making sure the the um, the um, the products are on shelf and and we keep the business running so we can continue to be a 470 billion dollar company. 
um, that's that's my res responsibility in Asia, and obviously Asia is an important region for us because you think of China and the growth that amasses there. Um, it's 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 humbling to be part of that leadership to be able to help drive it to the next level. I want to bring up here Joan Bradley Wages because the president and CEO of the National Women's History Museum, because they struggled. This was a struggle of love. This was a struggle of patience. Millions of tourists come to Washington, D.C. each year from around the world, I mean, as well as, as from within the U.S. And by being here in the nation's capital, this will influence many millions of tourists from other countries. They'll go home and say, hey, we should have our own Women's History Museum, which is exactly right. There should be Women's History Museums all over the world. In my opinion, I feel that it is very important for women to rise and to hold hands and to stand together and to stay together and to be each other's keeper. Women are denied to access finance. Women are, they don't have access to technology and a lot of other things. And I, and I think this is the right approach. As Her Excellency President Amanda said, we need to work together. It, it is not until we have our women's history that women can find true and full equality. So it will be an inspiration to the world. GB Group Global is proud to present the Global Woman Business Leader Award to Ms. Janine B. Scott. She has numerous memberships and affiliations. She's a pioneer in her own right. And if you're working on a project, Janine is the person that you want. GB Group Global is proud to present Global Woman Literary Leader Award to Zane. Well, being able to publish over 100 other authors, including several New York Times bestsellers, including Marion Barry's book, did make the New York Times list. I'm very excited about that. And I just want to thank everyone for this prestigious award. Thanks. We're going to not just celebrate women, but we're going to celebrate men who also know how to appreciate women. Okay. <laughs> women have to be empowered. And by us being empowered, my husband would always tell you, by me being empowered, I empower him. Because if my, his wife can pay the bills, he ain't got nothing to worry about. So empowering women <laughs> empowers the community, empowers the children, and, and empowers them. We have all the love. And Coretta, thank you so much. Dragonfly out in the sun. You know what I mean, don't you know? Sleep when peace is done. You know how I feel. Butterflies all having fun. You know what I mean? It's an old world, it's a new world, and a bold world. How I feel, scent of the pie. You know how I feel. Yeah, freedom is mine, and I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life.